Hey friends, it's Heidi with Happily Thriving Heidi and on today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm taking just boring old food cans and turning them into something special for this fall season. Now the best part about this video is that it is only pretty much the cost of the cans and it is amazing what you can do by just transforming a couple of things with these cans to turn them into adorable fall home decor. So make sure you watch all the way to the end because I am going to be showing several different ways to redo these cans and to make them something special. To get started for craft number one, you're going to need a couple of things. A medium sized tin can, white paint, orange paint, a wooden candlestick holder, and then some ribbon. Now I painted my can with three coats of white paint. As it was drying, I moved over to the candlestick holder. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and used a 40% off coupon. So I paid, I think it was $1.50 for this thing. And then I'm gonna just paint that with one coat of white paint. Now the orange color was a little too bright, so I went ahead and lightened it with some white paint. And once I got that ready, I took some painter's tape and created two stripes on here so that when I paint it, this tin is gonna have a really darling stripe look to it. For the orange paint, I went over it with two coats of paint just to make sure that the color was really bright and sharp. And as you can see, the inside of my tin needed another coat of paint. Once I was all done painting everything, I took my drill and I, just to help this process be easier, I drilled a hole in the bottom of the tin can. And I also didn't show it, but into the candlestick holder just a little bit as well to make sure the screw goes through and lines up easily. Then you're gonna take the screw and place it in and to make sure it's nice and secure in place before you start screwing, I'm gonna just take some hot glue and just hot glue that right on there so it's all nice and snug and a good finished clean look at the bottom. And then I'm gonna just take that screw and screw it all the way in so that it's all fastened together and nice and sturdy. Now, the bottom base of this candlestick holder I felt was a flat surface enough, but if you feel like you want a bigger base in the bottom, you could get another wood plaque that's a square, that's you, it's in the same section as these candle holders, and you would just screw that into the bottom of that to make it a wider base, but I felt like the base of this was just fine as it was. Once I added a couple of strands of ribbon, it was a finished cute little candle cup holder. The second craft today I'm going to be sharing is a rustic flower vase and I'm going to make four of them so I'm going to say vases. So I'm just taking four cans and this is a small size. I'm not going to paint the middle because I'm going to have fabric on that part so I'm just going to go around the tops and the bottom and I don't even need to paint the inside on these. And then I'm going to take some drop cloth that I had around our house. I cut them into strips and the strips, depending on your can, it can be a little bit wider or smaller. But for this particular one, it was about two inches wide. I went ahead and frayed the edges, added a little hot glue and just simply wrapped it around. And then I'm going to hot glue it in place at the end. Once that was all hot glued into place, I took all the cans and lined them up next to each other and I freehanded on the letters F-A-L-L -L to spell out fall. And it was just a simple, real quick sketch. I think anybody can do this. You don't need to use a stencil. And then once I sketched them on with a pencil, I just took a small paintbrush with black paint and went right over it. And now keep in mind, you don't have to make these look super perfect. It's kind of, the best part about farmhouse home decor is that a little bit of that rustic look goes a long way with this type of style. So I'm just really quickly going over those pencil lines and just as you can see, painting right over them. Now when they were all done drying, I wanted to lessen how sharp and bright these looked. I wanted to give it more of that rustic weather look. So the simple trick to do that 
is by getting a piece of sandpaper and then you're just gonna rub right over that fabric and it will pull off that top coat of that paint. Make sure it's really dry before you do this process because you can smear that image obviously. But once that was all done, I was ready to insert some pieces of foam. I picked up this foam square from the Dollar Tree and I just cut it into four pieces and then hot glued it down in. And then to finish and complete the look, I took some of these really darling florals that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I picked up two bushels and it was enough for these four tens. And then I just filled in all of the vases. For craft number three, you are going to need three different size cans, an extra small can, a medium can, and a large can. And then I'm going to use that same orange paint color that I used earlier for my candle cup and I painted all three of them with three coats of paint. Then once I had them dried, I went ahead and drilled a big enough hole at the bottom and I shoved in twigs that I found around our yard and I just cut them down to size to make them look like pumpkin stems. Now to make sure it gets a really good fit in there, I put some hot glue on it first and then shoved it down into that hole. And then on the inside of the can, I dripped hot glue down in there around that stick to really seal both sides of it so it won't pop out over time. This next step is my favorite. I picked out a couple ribbons that I had around our house and some green wire and I took the wire first, wrapped it around the twig and then added on some twine, some ribbon and I put little dots of hot glue here and there as I felt that it needed it. And then when I was all done, I curled the wire. I feel like that extra little green wire on there was just so darling. Now I will say I did pick up the wire, it was at Walmart in their craft section, but you can find colored wire anywhere. And I just loved how it looked with those little curly cubes coming up from the wire with all the twigs and the ribbon. It just made it look so adorable for this hollowing upcoming season and for fall. And then to finish off that nice rustic look, I took some sandpaper and just kind of went over it lightly, pulling off some paint here and there to give it a really finished polished look. For craft number four, you are going to use an extra large tin and you are going to take a piece of computer paper and sketch down a word that you would like. Now if you don't feel comfortable doing it with your hand, you can also print it up and then you're going to tape it onto your extra large tin. Once you've got that in place, you're going to put a towel down first to help hold it in place and then use a drill to drill holes into the letter. Now remember, don't get too close to each other because it will create a bigger hole and so you want to just make sure you kind of go and drill it where the grooves divot down in on the can. This is actually a really great way to be able to keep your drill lined up on the spots and it keeps them evenly spaced. Once you've done all your letters, go ahead and drill the holes on the top sides for your handle that we're going to put on next. Here are the letters all drilled. I just think they look so cool. And then because this is going to be outside on Halloween night, I went ahead and painted it with some black paint and I went over with three coats of paint again. I'm just a fan of painting things a couple times just to make sure the color looks really sharp and it's popping well. So then you're going to take your wire and you're going to slip it through that hole, wrap it around a few times, take it over on the other side and wrap it around again and then cut off any extra wire that you don't need. And then to finish the look, I picked up some ribbon that I had in my home and I cut off several strips and just tied them onto one side of the bucket. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed this video today because I sure did have a lot of fun making these different tin crafts. I thought they were just so cute to display throughout my home and it really made it feel more rustic fall farmhouse decor in my home on a shoestring budget that anybody could do. Now if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss more videos coming up in the month of September especially since I'm working on a room of the month. If you miss that, friends, no worries. I'll link it down below, but I'm working on my kitchen for my room of the month. It's the part two. So I'll link the part two and the part one down below in the description box. Also, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about these tin cans and which one you like best or you think you might want to try at your own home. Until the next video, bye friends.